Welcome to Studio One Vintage, New Zealand's home of vintage guitars. My name is Nick Rightwell. This is what it's all about. This is a 1944 D18, and I'll just say it's pretty light. <laughs> Sorry, just having fun. Uh, um, this this guitar is is quite incredible. We have had this in stock before I was working here. Um, so I haven't seen this instrument and it showed up last week, uh, the previous owner swapped it for something, uh, he, he traded it his way up and uh, so we have this beautiful guitar back again. So 44, what was happening in 1944? Hitler was starting to get his butt kicked. The Americans found their way into the European theatre of war, World War II. Churchill was still alive. Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys were some of the biggest music in the world, especially in the American South. And this guitar was being constructed and just started to be played. So first of all, let's look at this amazing uh, finish checking that we have here. Uh, I'm, you know, finish checking is always a unique kind of animal from guitar to guitar, and this one is just phenomenal. It has a lot of aging to it. Um, and as I said, it is very, very light. Uh, it's interesting because comparing this to the 37 we have, I feel that this guitar is a bit lighter. Uh, I don't know if that's really because this one has just been played so much, um, or they were still kind of figuring out their build, kind of uh, how heavy they could build it. So like the 64 that we have back there, if you've already seen that video, this one has a great neck on it as well, a very narrow neck. That was the first thing I noticed when I picked it up as wow, this neck is amazing. And um, it seems like the uh, kind of finish checking that's gone back there has, has been done by, if you can see it, has been done by some kind of crocodile or something because uh, I have never seen that kind of pattern before. You've got a lot of the kind of heavier finish has been worn off here. Um, this guitar has just been played and played and played and that's uh, you know that's really what you're looking for and that's what I look for when um, I'm looking out for guitars for people is you look out for an instrument that's in top quality as far as is it playable you know it doesn't need any repairs and then you want an instrument that's been played in and this guitar just screams guitar's just been played a lot. Let's see if I can catch that low end. Yeah, this guitar just making me play a little bit different today. Uh, it's very interesting. That's that's one thing I haven't really talked about on this channel yet is when you pick up these older instruments, you know, you just can't help but play in a new way. And that's sometimes what you're looking for as a musician is, um, you know, you can kind of get into the same habits that you play on on your your number one guitar or your you know kind of number two. And when you pick up something unique like this. Um, it just makes you play different. You kind of start looking for new things, you hear different sounds. It's a, I don't want to sound too ethereal, but really you kind of explore what the new instrument can do. Um, and to be honest, this is me kind of really playing the guitar for the first time. Just, you know, just uh, a uh, mention is that all of these guitars that I demo is I don't sit down and play them for hours before I do the video. I play them and kind of get my initial um, kind of this is what it feels like, you know, I can immediately tell, I immediately make a decision if is it a great guitar in my mind and then I just kind of keep that in the back and then when we do these videos I just kind of go for it. So 
this guitar is definitely a player and makes you want to play it. Um, yeah, so what can I tell you about this era of guitar? Because I haven't really told any details yet. So it has an Adirondack top, so that's what kind of puts this price uh, up, is because you, they stopped using Adirondack kind of in 46. They had uh, exhausted the supply of wood during World War II. They were making everything made out of wood was made out of Adirondack because it was light and uh, very structurally sound. So it was great for making frames um, and other, uh, other materials for war. So it also has the, through, the long through bridge and that looks to be, uh, it's not super low, but it has been uh, down a little bit, has been worn down. So that's a good sign of it being played. It has the older style of, of Martin tuners. Um, I haven't actually seen them, so I don't quite, I don't know what they are, but they're the kind of the, the wider and flatter open backs. Um, I wonder if they're Grovers and then the Grovers got covers over them. If you know, please let us know. So if you're looking at this guitar, uh, you know what a 1944 D18 really stands for. I'll try and do some uh, justice to a blue glass, blue grass lick. You really want that note to pop out. tune now that I'm playing it. It has the original, um, <laughs> it has the original buttons, or at least that's an original button there. It's funny, um, it's really, it's been compressed a lot, uh, but the buttons are in very good condition. This is a all original guitar as far as I can tell. Um, it has a lot of finish checking. It looks to have one, possibly one crack here. But that has been repaired, but I can't feel any, um, yeah, no, I wouldn't say that's a crack actually, apologies. Can't feel any cleating on it. And yeah, the, the back, although it has a lot of finish checking as well, does not have a lot of cracks in it. Um, if you're seriously interested in this instrument, uh, please reach out to us and we can have a kind of a one-on-one -on -one conversation about the instrument. And uh, we can send you some video and you're more than welcome to kind of request a type of playing or um, particular songs. We've got a, a few customers right now in overseas, one in LA and one in Sweden. And we're kind of having these kind of long distance conversations back and forth about uh, what the instrument is. And we take a lot of video. So we're, um, we're very flexible and can help um, the motivated buyer. But yeah, this guitar is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, I'd have it if I could afford it. <laughs> uh, maybe one day, maybe one day. If you like and subscribe to our channel, you never know. We might get up there and might be able to start buying all sorts of crazy guitars. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll just we'll leave it there for today. Once again, this is a 44D18. It is light as a feather. Uh, it just absolutely sings. Uh, we've just got it back from a customer that had it for about a year or so. Uh, and we're very excited to have it again. So if you're interested, let us know. Um, once again, my name is Nick Brightwell. Have yourself a good one, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.